Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to quickly talk to you about metal sunroof headliner installation. Uh, guys, I will, I will be having a video coming out very soon on doing a headliner installation for a metal sunroof like you see here. And I've been filming this while I go along. Uh, so it's not going to be as a huge in-depth uh, installation video like some of my past headliner videos. I don't know if you can see all this, I know it's kind of dark. Um, so you can follow a lot of my other videos uh, as a reference, but the big point is, is uh, getting this installation correct in the opening, uh, which can sometimes be a little problematic, but for the most part it's really not that bad um, You know, to do this sort of uh, installation here in the opening is pretty much just like you know uh, doing a back window uh, headliner uh, install you know, like I have uh, on, on YouTube and it, you just got to think of this as an open window and you, you're putting a headliner into place uh, so not not too bad there um, metal sunroof has been on my list to do for quite a while now I get a lot of emails on it uh, it's just we haven't had much haven't had time to do a metal sunroof just yet. This is a client car, so we're doing this for a client, uh, and it is coming out really nice. It is a one-piece headliner, so there's no tuck around the back window like you see, um, but we are using, the, of course, my tweed material, which is working fabulous. Um, so as you can see there, it's, uh, it's coming out really nice. I really, really like uh, the so fine interior kits that we get. So, and our signature kit is going in there, so of course it's getting a little bit of burgundy as well so it's going to be really nice on a gunmetal metallic uh, beetle that you see here so but what i wanted to talk to you about today are these the metal rails that go into the uh into the roof so this part of the metal rail goes all the way back into the roof so you're talking deep into here so they 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 attach here and go deep back they go back into uh, the roof. So we have these out, and I've been just doing a little bit of research. Now I want you guys to also, you know, correct me if I am wrong. Um, I am planning to leave these uh, the aluminum look, the polished aluminum look, the shine. You know, this had a lot of crud on it when we took it out of the car when we were stripping, um, and we had to clean off all the old grime and gum and whatever that was on this. And uh, I've been doing some research. I do see that some people paint these the colors of the uh, the plastic uh, covers that go into the roof now, which is great in today's day. Now, the Wolfsburg West, if you go to their website, they have a complete blowout of what you can get from metal sunroof. And these are now offered, uh, these corner pieces, the covers, and such. Uh, and they mimic the originals almost perfectly. And the originals are... Yeah, they're like an off-white. They're like a creamy white, an almond white. And I've spoken about almond before uh, when it comes to painting seat frames and stuff. So if you want to go with the Rust-Oleum uh, Rust Almond or the Valspar Lovely Bluff uh, or even Duplicolor has almond as well, you can spray uh, the rails that color so it's an all-uniform look. The only downside to it is that over time, as the roof is going back and forth, uh, the sunroof, the metal plate, uh, you start scratching this. I mean, there's already scratch marks on that from the past. So, if you go to 1967beetle.com, my friend Eric Shoemaker's website, he's got a great website there, and you put in the search sunroof, there is a great article there that a fella did on doing metal sunroof on a 67. Basically, it's still the same procedures. I think from 64 onward, I mean, the procedures are pretty much very similar. Um, and he did paint uh, these rails. They came out looking beautiful. He did say, if you want to stop the scratches from happening, because w you know, once it moves back and forth, you're going to start scratching the paint off and you're going to start seeing lines. Let me show you this 65 over here that we have here as a reference. Now, this has an original roof, I believe, or someone might have been in here before. But if you look closely, the, this gets scratched. So if you paint these, it's going to get scratched. It's not terrible, but you know me, I'm, I'm trying to be as clean as possible. I don't want to see scratches on certain things. You know, I'm used to also the metal rails on the earlier sunroofs like you see here. 
and the metal rails, I mean, these are nice. I mean, they're not painted, of course. And this looks really nice to me. Uh, I like this. And, you know, you use the product like Ween All, like I've uh, spoken about in the past. When it comes to polishing these, you could even put a wax on them so things, you know, move back and forth good and everything slides all right. So I'm planning to leave the rails, the aluminum look. And I've tried to do some research online, the old brochures, to see if these were aluminum from factory. And I'll be honest, I did see, I saw both. Um, I've seen in the brochures that we you know with the sunroof open, it's kind of a distant shot, but they had the connections here. They had maybe the elbows here or something, right, in the picture. And it wasn't an all uniform white look from a distance, like from an from a overhead shot. You saw the break from the color. So that made me believe that this is aluminum they, they made it keep they, they kept it the the aluminum look so correct me if i'm wrong guys i'd love to hear your thoughts on this uh, but i think that's what we're going to do we're just going to polish this like we have here probably probably put a wax on it the other thing you can do is if you did want to paint it uh the guy mentions on the uh, shoemaker site you know on uh on, on some cars they have the, the clear bra there's like a, a plastic wrap real thin materials kind of like I guess a heavy-duty tape to some degree they put a plastic bra on the front of a car to protect it from road chips you could probably do something like that to coat on top of uh, your painted rail to protect it from uh, getting scratched and then maybe it even make the things slide better I don't know I've never done that before but uh, I plan on you know uh, keeping them this look so I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and uh, do go to wolfsburgwest.com and you can get all the materials for metal sunroof from cables to the plastic covers and then even these hard to find parts which you must get these uh these are these little pokers i guess that they stick they have two uh holes in the in the rail everything's meant to go together correctly and this pokes into then a hole inside the uh the roof here so if, once you put those rails in, you go all the way back and there's a hole that that has to poke through to keep the rail in line. So little things like that they, they do have for the metal sunroof. It's not as uh, mysterious as everybody thinks. Um, it's really not all that difficult um, once you start seeing a blowout. But I'm putting a video together, which will be coming out shortly. I know it's been long waited uh, to see a, a you know, a metal sunroof installation. So I am shooting that as we speak as we're putting this car together. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys, and I'd uh, love to hear, you know, um, if there's any other uh, how-tos online that uh, people have. It would be a great reference, and then I can use those as well uh, in our upcoming video. I should be done with the video soon uh, to put a uh, metal sunroof in, but um, stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell for notifications, that old thing, and uh, share this out on social media. It would be great. All right, guys, take care. Uh -huh.